Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of Artisan. Um, I'm in here in the base that built us. Here it is. I don't know if you saw it last time, but we also did a ton of stuff between episodes. Oh, I didn't have that stuff. Uh, we moved the villager down here. We could safe. We haven't named him yet. And also, we went ahead and made a bunch of tools out of Signal. Um, I didn't realize until later that I'd actually made my sword out of uh, steel when I meant to make it out of something else. So, we've got the orange phase saber, the super breaker 5000, the Signalum crossbow. Signalum is amazing. It does, look how much damage this does. It does so much damage. And it, do, it does like nearly twice as much as uh, Manulum, which is absurd. And it's not that hard to make, honestly. You're just going to make a bit of pyrothium. So, I think it's nighttime right now. Oh, by the way, Azusa is not with us right now. Oh, it's not nighttime. Azusa is here, but she doesn't like playing. So, it's just going to be me. Um, goal for this episode. Because in order to keep the progression a little bit low, without Azusa being here, we are going to be remodeling the village so that it is safer from mobs. All right. I'm thinking the first thing we probably need to do to help us out with that endeavor is make a map. Just a regular old map. I used the golden lasso to move them here. So we some paper and a compass. We might make it, need to make it bigger. We still have all our junk in here. We'll make a dolly eventually and move it over. So for now, let's go ahead and get ourselves some paper and a cookie. We processed a bunch of food, but that was mostly just grindy that it also did. Thank you very much, Azusa. Where is my one piece of paper? That's, that's just great. Sure, I used to pull it. Oh no, we got 32. Perfect. Okay. So the map is definitely going to help us get a bird's eye view of this whole place this is where i'm keeping all this do i not have any iron or is it all in the smeltery no just three ingots of signal and that iron oh well, we got 51 of it in here so nothing for it to combine with i think i got a there's no more no more lava this is a problem Right, we'll do with that later. I think I got some more iron, like, in this chest. Do we have iron in this chest? Oh. Darn it! Well, I guess we'll be right back. Okay, so we have our iron in. And we got our sugar cane. I really need to put a crafting table out here. Let's just go back inside. Make ourselves a map. Right. Compass? We don't really need to know where spawn is. Two, three. Why is it not dragging on the first one? That's frustrating me. It's only dragging on the second two. Hmm. Whatever. Put this in the middle, and we'll surround it once, and then we'll surround it again. Because we wanted to make it slightly larger. Actually, you know it has to be used first, doesn't it? Yeah, because this is gonna map the whole village. Not at all. You know what? I think any more, though, would be too zoomed in, right? Maybe we should just make a second map. Alright, that's it. We'll make several maps. It'll be more interesting that way, anyway. I'd say about four. Right? Oh, it's cutting it close with our iron. Ah, we got plenty more iron in the smeltery. 51 blocks times two. 100 and something, right? It's really easy, actually. 52. Actually, no, it was 15. I don't think I'm doing that math. Please tell me I got enough sugar cane. I don't think I do. I don't. Like one short. Gosh darn it. Literally. Oh, look. Six in it there. Perfect. Got it. Four maps. If we want to get this right, though, we have to first check this map and realize that we need to head that direction da -da -da -da. once we get down here are we have the map yet yes we are we can use this map and now we're at the top of this one there's no village that's what I expected though but we can head back now Now we need to go to the right. Oh, 
not quite off the edge of it. Are we yet? All about. There we go. What we're doing is we're creating a two by two grid of maps to help us show the. Darn it. You know, I'll just live with not rendering that whole bit. Now we need to head this way. Perfect. There we go. And everything is rendered, but we got the whole village, I believe. That's all that really matters. Now, what matters now is if we have any leather. All right, well, I had to artificially procure some some leather. But we got some. The question is, if we're going to have enough I do believe we can smelt rubber wood into regular jungle wood. That's ideal. Right? Right? No, it just makes charcoal now. That must have been a long time ago. Long, long time ago. All right. Let's make ourselves some item frames. So we can get a good look at our surrounding area. Yeah, we got nowhere near enough. All right. Come on. Give me lots of sticks. Lots and lots of sticks. Ah, still not enough. All right. We need a bunch more sticks. Any more rubber wood? Any sticks? Ah, that'll work. That'll give us, what, four more? It's gonna be six. Still not enough. Actually, you know that's ten. I forgot we had two, two things. There. there we go. So let's head down to our basement. You know what? Do we wanna? We should, shouldn't we? we? Should make sure we render everything. No, we're not going to. Though. I don't care. I don't care. All right. We'll do it right here. If I remember right, that's actually in the middle of the room. All right, so let's try to get it, get spatial awareness for the wind. Right, so it's like right there, and then we went straight down from it. Ah, this is the wrong side. I was on the right track though. There. There. Um, there, and there. Perfect. That's the whole village. We can see it on the map now. Okay, so we're going to want a wall that goes up and around here, down here, right? And I kind of like that unrenderedness around it. It's kind of cool. Some explosions. Sorry, villagers. I mean, they're all dead except one. Oh, so we're going to have to cut down a lot of trees, that's for sure. Maybe we should make a tree felling axe, a lumber axe. I'm definitely thinking we should make a lumber axe. We're probably not going to make it a signalum, though. All right, well, I'm going to wait for the nice to pass, and then um, now that I have a, a kind of basic visualization of how this is going to go, I'm going to get all this stuff ready. Well, we made the axe out of bone, bronze, and iron, so... Yeah. I'm just the most bone bronze... I'm the most boring person ever. Alright, so now we just need to clear out a bunch of trees. I need some food real fast, though. Eh. Flying through the air is very convenient. We have eight toasts and 16 baked potatoes. That should last me a while. Alright. We also got Mr. Test Dummy up there. He shows how much damage you're doing. If you hit him. 7.5. And then you can shoot him with this. 55 hearts. And it reloads so fast. Look at this. Look at that. Anyway, we are going to be getting rid of a lot of trees around here. And now that I've had a bird's eye view of the whole place, I can kind of see where everything's at. Okay, so we removed a lot of the trees from around the village and inside the village. And it's going to give us some room to build a wall. Of which I shall make the outline tomorrow morning. Building a wall. Building a wall. Building a wall. So much more to go. One more layer. Okay, so we basically finished the wall. I'm lighting up the area. And then we're going to light up the inside of the the, 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 the village. That's what I'm saying. My test dummy ended up in a weird place. I don't know why. So we'll place him on top of here. This is your new home. Boop. Good job, test dummy. 
All right, goal is to keep the whole inside of the village lit up as well as the top of the wall so that we don't have to worry about crap spawning. I ran out of coal. We're going to have to mining soon. Sadness. So much sadness. Here we go. We're going to have a decent number of torches. 20. Should probably be okay. So, we're, running, we're trying to light up all the yellow areas inside as well. Honestly, we should probably just cover this up. Right, let's finish the walls first before we get too crazy. I say as I start placing them everywhere. All right, death lingers in the air. A bad moon rises. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's totally okay. I'm, I'm prepared. Waiting for a ghostly ghost to show up. I used up all my torches, didn't I? How much health does this guy have? What is happening? You have a hundred and one health. That's uh kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh hey there, there you are. Ooh. Ghost Vita. Oh, I didn't know I didn't know that non-vanilla mob could actually drop Vita. This sound is way too loud, isn't it? Music and sounds, just turn the message volume down a bit. Alright, right. let's go get some more torches. We're trying to protect this place. Keep it from spawning all sorts of evil things. We should have quite a few ghosts this time around. Yeah, there's another one. Bottle of enchanting. I'll have that. I'd like to trap one of those guys inside of a safari net. Ink. We can make some. You need a. Uh... Oh, I made Lenny. Yep, here's Lenny. Lenny the shovel. Say hello to Lenny. Or don't say hello. It's kind of creepy. We're also kind of filling in holes at the same time. It's just mostly directionless at this point. I've lost all control of my life. Uh, fill this in. After it's all said and done, we should have quite a lot of building area. Wait, does he have chainmail on? When did he get chainmail on? Can you, can you give him chainmail? Yeah, I definitely do less damage to him now, too. <laughs> How do you give that to him? What did you get chainmail? I'm so confused. Where did he get armor from? He's focused on the villager, that's fine. Alright, so we should have a few pieces of coal in here. We'll waste one to make more. We'll waste two to make more. <sighs> we'll make it through this full moon. We'll make it through. I know we can, I believe. Alright, let's finish the wall first. Hey! Wait a second, man. Why am I using my sword? My freaking bow one hits everything. I don't have to worry about shooting Sarah. She's not here. Okay. What part of the wall do we leave off on? Over there. We're gonna need more than three torches to off that wall, aren't we? All right. We'll wait for a few more pieces to smelt then. Good. Do, 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 do. Up. I said up. There we go. We got F7 on so we can see the light levels. Uh, well, yeah, by the way, the difficulty level turned blue after we reached 40. I don't know why. I'm assuming it means okay then. I crashed the game again. Alright, well, that was fun. We're back. Lighting up the wall. Oh, bit of lag because I just logged in. Stop it, please. F7. And we'll continue lighting up the wall. Please don't crash again. This episode is probably going to end short because of the crashes. Don't know what's causing it. Alright, let's light up this area now. A new version available. Oh, okay. That'd be awesome if I 
you know, all the other mods are compatible with that version of Forge that you're wanting me to use. There's probably more efficient ways to play. There's actually, there, I know there is more efficient ways to play these games, but I am choosing to ignore those today. I am lazy. Nom, 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 we have a few areas that probably need to be lit up, but I'll find those as time goes on. Other than that, I've been kind of filling in holes and stuff. Let's close this off. Make this some flat land. Let's just misplace a million. Lenny! Come on, Lenny. Help me out. Look at his, look at his derpy Minecraft Lenny face. <laughs> Lenny does not copy over to Minecraft very well. <laughs> Kinda goes full derp. Ugh. That's driving me nuts. Alright, let's see if we can get all of this gravel and re reconstruct this path. Light this up down here. I think I'm gonna try to keep this episode under 20 minutes. And I might start doing that more often. Because shorter videos seem to be keeping more attention, which makes sense. People don't have a million years to watch videos. Well, most people don't have a million years to watch videos. Lots of people have a million years to watch videos, let's be serious. But, not everybody. Alright, we're going to fill this in first. Because the gravel needs a place to sit on top of. Save our torch, because it's valuable. Oh, we're basically just trying to make this place pretty full again. Again, probably never was. But we didn't really help it when we blew it up with creepers, and yeah. We have not benefited this place yet. We kind of like made, got all, everybody dead. Everybody's dead because of us, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, that looks so much better. Okay. As for this area, we're just gonna make it flat. Fill this in. And we may eventually replace the gravel roads with something like cobblestone or paved stone, white stone, black stone. I think I think I don't think I have um, Project Red World Gym, so there shouldn't be any like red or black stone. Crap, I'm out of dirt. Alright, well, I'll be good like that. Sweet, this place is already looking better. I'm probably gonna I might remove these farms too. Well, you need them, technically. They do kind of make it a village, I suppose. Mm. We need more dirt. We got more dirt. I don't like this mess of an area over here. Might fill in the well. That's going to be the... That's going to be a thing that we do be between episodes. That's going to be a lot of work. Leather tunic. Skeleton I killed earlier. And 50 more dirt. Perfect. Should turn to nighttime, but the cool thing is I can probably keep working. In fact, I may go ahead and just like dismantle all the buildings too and start over and build my own more aesthetically pleasing buildings that are tactically placed so we can have turrets in the city that can take out any any mobs. Fortunately for the turrets though, they don't really care if there's a friendly mob in front of them and there's a dangerous mob on the other side. I'll try to shoot straight through you. And it'll hurt. A lot. Do I still have F7 on? Yes, I do. Perfect. Alright. Where else needs our immediate attention? Right here. This is kind of annoying looking. Nature is annoying looking. I said it. I don't like these farms at all. Probably gonna remove those. Oh, I see a bit of yellow. Boop. There we go. I don't really like what's going on here. It'll look a little bit weird with the dirt here instead of sand, but man. Alright, but we just hit 20 minutes. I think 
that's gonna do it for now. The the only thing left to do is just kind of like go around and fill in these holes and flatten stuff out. Um, I think we're done for this episode. Next episode, Azusa might be with us, and we can do some fun stuff. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.